In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve motion of a point problems with derivatives. This is question three. The question reads, the angular displacement of a rotating body is given by the equation theta is equal to 1.75 t to the power of three plus 2.88 t plus 4.88, and the units are in radians. They want us to find the angular velocity and the angular acceleration when t is equal to two seconds. To do this question, we'll need to use the following relationships, where the angular velocity, represented by the Greek letter omega, is the derivative of our original equation. And similarly, the angular acceleration is the second derivative of this equation. Let's go ahead and find the first and second derivative. So for question A, we have the derivative as d theta over dt, that's with respect to t, is equal to 1.75 times 3, and this 3 becomes 1 less. So we have 1.75 times 3, and we subtract 1 from that 3. I'll evaluate this later. Plus 2.88, and the t goes away. We've used the power rule for the first two terms, and since that last term is a constant, it becomes zero when you take its derivative. So I'm going to find out what that is equal to and evaluate that at two seconds. I know only question B asks for the acceleration at time is equal to two, but I'll do the same thing here. So I have 1.75 times three times, and I'm going to place two into here. Two to the power of two is four, plus 2.88. This gives me an angular velocity of 23.88. 23.88 radians per second. For question B, we'll take the second derivative. So I'll find out what 1.75 times 3 is because I'll need that for this. That's 21 over 4. So d squared theta dt is equal to, and this bottom part is squared, that number was 5.25 times 2, because remember this has become t to the power of 2, and t to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1, so that's the exponent of 1. The derivative of 2.88 is 0. Now I will evaluate this when t is equal to 2. Let's find out our acceleration. Let's see what we get. Multiply this by 2, multiply it by 2. That gives us 21. Therefore, 21 radians per second squared is our instantaneous acceleration when t is equal to 2. And there you have it. That is how to solve motion of a point problems with derivatives. Make sure to watch question 4 for another application problem.